Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've created another windmill recently, and this one is a little bit more action and feature packed than the previous laser cut one. Actually, I haven't made a video on that one, but I'll make one shortly so you can see what I'm talking about. Ultimately, what I'm going for is a power generating windmill with variable incidence blades that uh, update in real time via some closed loop feedback mechanism. I've already figured out how I want to do it. I just haven't done it yet because it's rather complicated. And this was a nice little kind of detour to figure out what maybe the optimum angle might be for a just flat blade. These are blades that you can cut out on a bandsaw. These happen to be laser cut, but they're just quarter inch Baltic birch. They're 31 and a half inches long, giving me a 66 inch total rotor diameter. So the area of this thing is quite large. Um, as you can see here, maybe. I haven't built the mast yet because I haven't figured out exactly what I want to mount it to. The shaft is a simple old shaft from a laser printer. The hub was entirely printed on a CraftBot Plus. It has a flat back and is a triangular shape. There's a threaded post in the center that allows me to set and adjust the blade angle. The hub has a hexagonal bore down the center to transmit torque without being too circular or too square. I can also insert standard hex bolts if needed. For demonstration and testing, I printed these yellow shaft adapters and inserted a couple of 608 skate bearings. By using these yellow adapters, I can easily configure this windmill to mount to any shaft without having to reprint the entire hub. I can also print adapters with integral gears or pulleys. The blades are bolted to 3D printed roots and secured to the hub with a quarter inch bolt. The yellow pin is the angle adjustment pin, and it rides in the groove around the perimeter of my red adjustment collar. As I turn the red collar, it moves in and out along this threaded post, bringing the yellow pins with it. This forces the blades to tilt simultaneously and equally. You can see how easy it is to adjust. They can be adjusted to about plus 20 and minus 10 degrees. This type of mechanism would never allow me to fully feather the blades to 90 degrees for safety, but that's not really necessary with this windmill. It will be on my final version. But as you can see, this thing spins really well. I can't wait to get it all finished. But I just wanted you guys to see the concept here, and hopefully you're inspired to go create something similar and improve upon what I've got here. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.